NASA's Ranger 4 was a spacecraft launched on April 23, 1962, as part of the Ranger program, which aimed to study the Moon and take close-up photographs of its surface. Ranger 4 was designed to impact the Moon's surface and transmit data during the final moments of its descent. However, due to a malfunction, no useful scientific data was transmitted back to Earth, and the spacecraft crashed into the far side of the Moon on April 26, 1962. Despite the mission's failure, Ranger 4 was a significant step in the development of space exploration technology, as it was the first U.S. spacecraft to reach the Moon's surface. Additionally, the data collected from Ranger 4's trajectory helped NASA to improve its future lunar missions. Overall, Ranger 4 represented a significant milestone in the early days of lunar exploration, demonstrating the feasibility of sending spacecraft to the Moon and paving the way for future lunar missions such as the Apollo program. Mission Objectives The primary objective of the Ranger 4 mission was to impact the Moon's surface and transmit data back to Earth during the final moments of its descent. The secondary objectives were to test the performance of the spacecraft systems during the journey to the Moon and to gather scientific data about the lunar environment. Launch and Trajectory Ranger 4 was launched on an Atlas Agena B rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida. The spacecraft was placed on a trajectory that would take it to the Moon's far side, where it was programmed to impact in the vicinity of the crater Alphonsus. Malfunction Unfortunately, Ranger 4 experienced a malfunction in one of its computer systems during its journey to the Moon. This caused the spacecraft to lose its orientation and miss its target, resulting in a crash landing on the far side of the Moon. Scientific Instruments Ranger 4 was equipped with several scientific instruments, including a seismometer to measure lunar seismic activity, a cosmic ray detector to study radiation in space, and a television camera to take pictures of the lunar surface. Impact Crater Although Ranger 4's mission was a failure in terms of transmitting scientific data, the spacecraft did leave a significant impact crater on the Moon's surface. The crater has a diameter of about 30 meters and a depth of about 4 meters. It is located near the rim of the crater Alphonsus, where Ranger 4 was intended to land. Predecessors Ranger 4 was not the first spacecraft to be launched as part of the Ranger program. Its predecessors, Ranger 1, 2, and 3, were all launched between 1961 and 1962. However, none of these spacecraft were successful in achieving their mission objectives. Program Goals The overall goal of the Ranger program was to prepare for future lunar exploration by gathering data on the Moon's surface and testing technology that could be used in future missions. The program was part of the broader space. Race between the United States and the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Impact on future missions Despite the failure of the Ranger 4 mission, the program as a whole had a significant impact on future lunar missions. The data gathered by the Ranger spacecraft helped scientists to better understand the lunar environment and select landing sites for the Apollo missions. In addition, the technology developed for the Ranger program was used in subsequent missions, such as the Surveyor and Lunar Orbiter programs. Legacy Although Ranger 4's mission did not achieve its objectives, it was an important step in the development of space exploration technology. The Ranger program paved the way for future missions that would ultimately lead to human landings on the Moon. Ranger 4 also demonstrated the value of robotic exploration, which continues to be an important tool for studying the Moon and other celestial bodies in our solar system. Recognition In recognition of its contributions to the early days of lunar exploration, Ranger 4 was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1989. The spacecraft is now on display at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Controversy. The Ranger 4 mission was controversial at the time, due in part to concerns about the potential for the spacecraft to contaminate the Moon's surface with terrestrial microorganisms. Some scientists also questioned the scientific value of the mission, arguing that the data that could be collected from an impact was limited compared to the data that could be gathered from a soft landing. Follow-up studies. Despite the lack of data transmitted by Ranger 4, Scientists were able to conduct follow-up studies using data collected by other spacecraft and telescopes. For example, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which was launched in 2009, was able to photograph the impact site of Ranger 4 and study the debris field left behind by the spacecraft. Payload fairing controversy One of the factors that may have contributed to the malfunction of Ranger 4 was a problem with the payload fairing, which is the protective cover that surrounds the spacecraft during launch. According to some reports, the payload fairing may have separated prematurely, causing the spacecraft to lose its orientation. However, this theory remains controversial and has not been conclusively proven. Program Conclusion 
The Ranger program concluded in 1965 after a total of nine missions. Although not all of the missions were successful, the program as a whole made important contributions to our understanding of the Moon and paved the way for future lunar exploration. Cost. The Ranger program was a significant investment for NASA, with a total cost of approximately $170 million, equivalent to over $1.4 billion in today's dollars. This included the development and launch of nine spacecraft, as well as the construction of the associated ground infrastructure and scientific equipment. Mission Duration. Ranger 4's mission lasted for approximately 65 hours, from its launch on April 23, 1962, until its impact on the Moon on April 26, 1962. Mission Objectives for Future The primary objective of the Ranger 4 mission was to impact the Moon's surface and transmit data during the final moments of its descent. This objective was achieved, although no useful scientific data was transmitted back to Earth. The mission also helped to demonstrate the feasibility of sending spacecraft to the Moon, which paved the way for future lunar missions. Technology Improvements The Ranger program made significant technological improvements, such as the use of solar cells to power spacecraft, which provided a more efficient and reliable source of energy compared to batteries. The program also improved our understanding of rocket propulsion, guidance and control systems, and spacecraft communications. Impacts of the program the Ranger program had a significant impact on the field of planetary science, as it helped to establish the foundation for future robotic missions to explore the Moon, Mars, and other planets. In addition, the program contributed to advances in the field of remote sensing, as scientists learned to interpret data collected by spacecraft from a distance. Future Robotic Missions Today, robotic missions continue to play an important role in space exploration, with a number of missions planned in the coming years to explore the Moon. Mars, and other celestial bodies. These missions build on the legacy of the Ranger program and demonstrate the ongoing importance of robotic exploration in our quest to understand the universe around us. Launch Vehicle Ranger 4 was launched on an Atlas Agena B launch vehicle, which was a two-stage rocket that had been developed by the United States Air Force for use as an intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM. The rocket was modified by NASA for use in the Ranger program. Impact Location Ranger 4's impact site was located in the western region of the Moon's far side, near the Kruger Crater. The impact site was later photographed by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which was able to identify the debris field left behind by the spacecraft. Payload. The Ranger 4 spacecraft was equipped with a number of scientific instruments, including a seismometer to measure lunar quakes, a radiation detector to measure cosmic rays, and a television camera to transmit images of the Moon's surface. However, due to the malfunction of the spacecraft, none of these instruments were able to gather useful data. Controversial Mission Objective The decision to pursue an impact mission for Ranger 4 was controversial at the time, as some scientists believed that a soft landing mission would provide more useful data. However, NASA was under pressure to demonstrate progress in the space race with the Soviet Union, and an impact mission was seen as a more feasible and cost-effective option. Lessons Learned Although the Ranger 4 mission did not achieve its objectives, it provided important lessons for future space exploration missions. For example, the mission highlighted the importance of redundancy in spacecraft systems, as well as the need for more reliable and efficient telemetry systems to transmit data back to Earth. These lessons were incorporated into subsequent missions and helped to improve the overall success rate of space exploration efforts. Unmanned Spacecraft Ranger 4 was an unmanned spacecraft, meaning that it did not have a crew on board. This was typical of early space exploration missions, as robotic spacecraft were seen as a safer and more cost-effective option than manned missions. Mission Control The Ranger 4 mission was controlled from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena, California. JPL is a NASA research center that is responsible for the design and operation of robotic missions to explore the solar system and beyond. Prior Ranger missions Prior to the Ranger 4 mission, NASA had launched eight other Ranger spacecraft, with varying degrees of success. The first six missions were designed to test spacecraft systems and collect data about the Moon's environment, while the final three missions were impact missions like Ranger 4. Moon Exploration The Ranger program was part of NASA's broader effort to explore the Moon and prepare for future manned missions. The program was followed by a series of Surveyor spacecraft, which were designed to soft land on the Moon and gather detailed data about its surface. Legacy the Ranger program had a lasting impact on space exploration, paving the way for future robotic missions and contributing to our understanding of the Moon and other celestial bodies. Today, 
The lessons learned from the Ranger program continue to inform the design and operation of spacecraft and inspire new generations of scientists and engineers.